myself so I can't once again welcome you to a new let's play, but this time I am not doing this let's play alone. This is a cooperative literally playthrough with my friend. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey guys, it's me after game twenty seven and yeah, Starbreaker seventy seven here. Just met recently and we wanted to do this. It is uh yeah. You Would you, like you say or should I? This is Phoenix Wright Contempt of Court, but we will be doing the Haunted Turnabout first before we do, uh, what's it called, uh, Turnabout Scapegoat, because there is a crash on the Scapegoat, which I can fix, uh, we'll have to do Haunted Turnabout first, and I did Haunted Turnabout first, so it's kind of nostalgic for me. <laughs> and plus the fact I haven't played Haunted Turnabout for like a couple of years now, a year maybe, so I'm a bit rusty on it, so... I don't know much about it, so shall we start? Yep. Big okay, night. Starting now. And I'm playing this blind, but I kind of looked through it a little bit because you're testing. Prepare for a jump scare, guys. Yeah, and I'm a semi blind, so it's. Yeah, yeah. This music is so creepy. And I will be doing the voice of Phoenix, right? I'll be doing sub-characters. Even females, that's right. <laughs> hey, what's the deal with that thing that's going back and forth, that black thing? Is that supposed to be a ghost or something? Yeah, it's supposed to be a ghost, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, in the Phoenix Wright games, at least you can kind of say that they made realistic murder cases. This one's just... Oh, whatever. Okay, wh which part are you on at the moment? Okay, I'm actually at the April 1st, 6.59pm outskirts. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. I can hear you clicking, so it's okay. Oh, okay, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, <clears throat> How much further is this place? I've been on this train for nearly an hour! Five days has passed since the trial where Mr. Grossberg was killed. Needless to say, that case was particularly stressful for me. After some nagging from Maya about what stress could do to an old man. Hey! Anyway, she suggested that we take a break for once. To be fair, I really could do with one. So after a bit of searching, I put the Maplethorne Hotel. The place is pretty old and not that popular, but all the more better for me. Peace and quiet. I just noticed, for a place that's supposed to be haunted, it looks so lovely in that brochure. It does look amazing, yeah. I would definitely stay at that hotel. Definitely. Speaking of peace and quiet, Maya's not coming. That's right, I was supposed to do the voice of Maya, but since she's not coming... Yeah, yeah we won't be doing that, <laughs> unfortunately. Mm. But she is in uh, Scapegoat, so you'll be able to do her voice then. Yay! She decided to spend time with Pearls back in Korean Village for a while. Uh, I just got an internet connection problem error. Really? Can you still hear me? Yeah, I can still hear you. Still oh, we go. Right, okay. Kinda lagging a little bit. Okay. I don't remember it being this far away. Oh well, as long as it doesn't rain before I get there. It's quite a walk from the train station. 30 minutes later. Question mark, question mark, question mark. No! <laughs> the rain is so bad, I can hardly see a thing. Wait, what's that building? I can hardly make it out. Is that the hotel? Oh, please be the hotel. Suppose there's only one way to find out. I'm gonna have to make a dash for it. Okay, uh, move. Question mark, question mark, okay, question mark. Yeah. Let's just get him inside. April 1st, 7.31 p.m. Maplethorne Hotel, main lobby. Fur, I'm wet through. Well, this certainly looks like the place. Uh, at least what I saw in the brochure. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Oh! I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were someone else. And for a woman, Someone. I thought for for a woman, I'm she has a very low voice. The same. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else. <laughs> oh, th th that's no problem. So, do you work here, 
from that. Ah, sorry, sir. Um, am I being too awkward? I I just go blank sometimes, always forgetting what to say. Ahem, sorry, I'm rambling again. Always rambling on, I am. Yes, sir, I do work here. Welcome to the Mablethorpe Hotel. Would you like a, loo uh, a room? Looks like someone needs to work on their, their sales pitch, so to speak. Uh, yes, I reserved a room on the name. Oh, almost forgot. My name is Maris Rubin. How can I help you tonight? That's you. <laughs> what? No, that's Phoenix. The blue riding. That's you. No, that's you. It's question mark. What? Which part are you at? Phoenix, um, er, does she have a memory problem or do I have to keep taking steps back in time? Keep going forward and I sh you should I'm be. A, oh, wait. No, I'm just saving. Hold on a minute. Uh, er, does she have a memory problem or do I keep talk taking steps back in time? Okay, uh, talk. Let's talk. Reservation. Do you have a reservation, Mr. Right. Phoenix Wright. Let's see here. Mr. Wright. Mr. Wright. Ah, here you are. Did you find the hotel okay, sir? It was much further away than I thought. Why is it all the way out here? The house is over 200 years old, sir. This land used to be a farm owned by the Mimplethorpe family. And the house was converted into a hotel about five years ago. 200 years old? Phew! Now then, Mr. Wright, you'll be staying in room 202 on the second floor. Oh, that would have been so um, ironic if it was room 215. Yeah, because of Hotel Dusk. Yeah. Yeah, Kyle High. Yeah, I, I can see that. Second floor. I thought I requested a first floor room. Oh, did, did nobody tell you? Huh? Tell what? The first floor is currently undergoing renovations. Renovations? Since when? Um, three days ago, sir. But, but I ordered a room on the flat floor four days ago. The hotel used to be a house, sir. Some old rooms are being converted into guest rooms. I apologize for the inconvenience, sir. Some Somebody should have told you on the phone. Uh, is there anything I can do to get you a room on the first floor? like she's about to cry. <laughs> what if I said? No, 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 it's okay. There is no burning reason for me to be on that floor in particular. And I'll take the second floor room, please. Excellent. I apologize again for the mix-up, sir. Here's the key to your room. Remember, it's room 202. Oh, that's a new sound effect. Room 202. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice one, I think. Yeah. Uh, someone, someone else... else. When I first came in, you said you thought I was someone else. Who were you talking about? Oh, that. I thought you were Mr. Maplethorpe. Mr. Maplethorpe? The owner, I take it. Yes, sir. I'm holding the fort while he's elsewhere on business. The entire fort? Aha, uh -huh, yes. But it's not as difficult as it sounds. It's awfully quiet here. Ah! I'm sorry, I have kept you, sir. Enjoy your stay. Uh, thank you, I'm sure I will. Oh, Mr. Wright, before you go... Yes? Promise me you won't go to the first floor. It's just that, with the renovations going on, it's quite dangerous to go up there. Oh, uh, no problem. Why would I want to go to the first floor anyway? As if the stories won't already keep people away. Huh? Stories? Huh? Oh, did you not know? Did I not? Did I not know what? The hotel is haunted. Haunted? Oh, the the freaking music, scary music. Yeah, no. You said the hotel was haunted. Yes, sir. I won't blame you if you don't believe me. Nobody else does. But it's true. There's a ghost here at the hotel. 
I should have seen this coming when I realized how old this place was. I just knew there'd be a ghost story somewhere. Uh, have you actually seen this ghost? I've heard noises. Late at night. No, I came here to relax. I shouldn't be thinking about silly ghost stories. You know, I just noticed. Where does um, Phoenix becoming a lawyer come into play at this? I mean, this seems just... This seems like something that Kyle Hyde would do. Just saying. Yeah, it does seem very Kyle Hyde-ish, yeah. I keep expecting him to walk through the door and go, I'm Kyle Hyde, <laughs> ex-detective salesman. <laughs> well, he's not really a detective anymore, you know. He's... Yeah, he's a salesman now. Mm -hmm. That kind of sucks, and it's kind of brought him to an all-time low. But we're not playing Kyle Hyde, we're playing Phoenix Wright, okay. Ah, but we might do one day, so you never know. Yeah. Oh, keep going, by the way. Uh, will that yeah. be all, sir? Uh, yes, thank you for all your help, Miss Rubin. You're welcome, Mr. Wright. Enjoy your stay. Okay, let's head up to the first floor. Elevator. Actually, we need to examine something. I know that for a fact. Uh, oh, crap, I forgot shield. to... Um, examine? Yeah, examine the shield. Oh. It's some sort of wall shield with an antique pistol mounted on it. I can practically see how thick the dust is on it from here. Okay, that's the only important relevant piece of uh, something we need to examine. Okay, to the elevator! Okay. Uh, second floor. Please tell me there's somebody else in this game, in this case, besides Miss Rubin. Just... Well, there's many people. Oh, actually. crap. Well, here we are, the second floor, the only flooring commission. 